gosh, where are we going? What is it called? Goodwill. Can you say goodwill? I also found this American Girl doll. She has a little bit of scuff marks on her, um, but she is she is only a dollar fifty. So we are definitely gonna pick this little girl up. And I also found this Tinkerbell Disney cartridge, um, and then I found this strawberry shortcake. Quilt. Gotta look it over and make sure it doesn't have any stains. Got you some dinos too, huh? Dino. Dinos? You got dinosaurs? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Hey guys, what is up? We are back with another haul for you. This, this one was from where, babe? I, I this couldn't... is actually a combination of a few times that we went to the thrift store um, here in our hometown. Okay, um, it was I... a hometown one. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, so this is from Goodwill, and this is from probably several days in a row. We try to go almost every day because they put out stuff every day, and we, we like to stock the new carts. <laughs> so we got quite a bit of stuff here for you. Usually when I run in, I don't have the GoPro. I want to just run in, run out, and at least we get the haul for you guys. So we yeah. definitely want to be able to show you guys and be able to educate you guys on stuff that you to pick up, not to pick up, what to look out for, bolos, all of those type of things. So anyways, let's get into our haul. All right, so these are for personal use. Oh. Yeah, so if you guys don't know, my birthday is in December. Five days and, before Christmas. Yep, five days before Christmas, and I share it with Frosty the Snowman here. So I always say that he is my buddy, my birthday buddy, because if you guys seen the movie Frosty the Snowman, he says, Happy Birthday! <laughs> Happy Birthday! Anyways, these are for personal use. Thought they were super cute and will be warm for the winter. Yes, all right, I'm moving on to the next. Ooh, thumb card hard. Yeah, so my daughter actually found these. Sorry, there we go. These are cargo style, if you guys don't notice or I'll don't know. Cargo style. <laughs> this um, is the cargo style look. Um, they are like a dark gray, greenish color. Yeah, it's so, like a green. So quite unique. They're a size 3830. So those should do okay for us. Yep. Cargo card. Yep. What's so this was a very sad story um uh -oh. when I... all right let's hear it <laughs> just kidding all right these i found are actually royal albert mm. um and i say these because i ended up picking up the uh the saucer with the teacup but sad enough when i was taking something out of my cart to pay for it it slipped out and shattered all over the floor Mm, so sad. Such a sad moment. I'm not laughing about that. No. <laughs> Luckily, that these aren't going to be like high, high profit. This was only a dollar, so I ended up just 
buying the cup um, anyways and hopefully somebody that doesn't they have the saucer but maybe they broke their cup um, then they will have this as a replacement this is perfect for sipping and putting your pinky up while you do it yes honey that's just to let you guys know that are into putting your pinky up on sipping tea, tea for two and two for tea that's right yeah, and her name's tea come on tea oh ho oh, oh. so our daughter actually found this as well this is from dandy i'm not sure if it had the date on it let's see no, it doesn't have the date, but I think it is an older hat. I honestly didn't even look up this. I just thought it was super cool. It looks cool. like it's on like a, almost like a baseball cap because it's got like the, what do they call this, babe? A snapback. Snapback here. Um, we only paid $2.99, so <laughs> Christmas time's coming. So somebody I'm sure will love that. Okay, so we ended up finding these Nike Vapor Max um, guys here, and they are a men's. Yeah, there are men's. men's for sure. I don't know what size they are. I'm having a hard time looking at the eight and a half. So they're not a huge desirable size. It might take a little bit longer to sell. But um, I looked up this when I was in the store. And some of these go for around 80 So not bad. That's very um, And up. we pay three ninety nine for shoes there. Um, they will need a little bit of cleaning. Not too much. The bottoms are a little yellowing. I don't know if that's normal. But we definitely did the squish test here and make sure that they don't crack on the sides when mm -hmm. you do that. So definitely test those out, especially when they have these like bubble type yeah. soles or whatever you want to call them yeah. on there. Um, yeah, so not too bad there. Okay. All right, so next to my teacup here was this, there's actually several spode items. Now, Spode is a brand that you want to be careful about picking up. Not all things Spode does very well. Um, this is actually a potpourri ornament. I was wondering what that was, yep. actually. So if you shake it, you can hear. There's a little bit of potpourri, I and you can you open it here and add new if you want. But anyways, I only paid a dollar on this, nice. and I would say probably get around $20 on that. So bread and butter. Yay, bread. Yay, butter. And this was a fun item. Um, that I found. Um, I've actually found a few of these in the past. They're called cloth, cloth teak. Cloth teak. Um, and they are from Possible Dreams. If you guys see this brand, definitely look into them. Um, and this one is actually um, 2003, so it's considered vintage right now, and it's called Slippy O Sliden. So, <laughs> isn't that funny? Slippy o sliding. Slippy slappy like, Samsonite. Like oh, slipping and sliding. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I was thinking so, something way different. Yeah, you were way off. But yeah. anyways, um, this is the little guy that came in here. So he's a little Irish dude with his beer Stein. and his yep and his little barrel of whatever he's got in there. Barrel booze. But anyways, um, he's definitely I would have saying he's new, uh, used. So we will say that he's used, but he has his box. And that's yep. always a good sign because you can usually get more uh, yes. for something that has the box. And we paid $3.99 for him. I'm not sure of the value. Couldn't find this exact one, but we will definitely put the comp up on the screen for yes, you. Yes, we will. So next, uh, I found this really cute owl's, like, it's like a pillow. And then it's got a little pocket here that I guess is for reading. Um, this is probably like one that you would put in like a library or even oh. a kid's little um, play area. Just thought it was super cute. Um, Pretty cool. Yeah, so I did pay $4.99. Probably paid up a little bit on it, um, but probably get around $25 on that. Nice. And then I got, I ended up finding a ugly Christmas sweater. So this is the time of year that you guys are going to want to pick up ugly Christmas Miller sweaters. One. Right? So... As you can see, it's got the Miller Lite tag here. It is an XL, which is an excellent size. So this will be a cool sweater. Actually, this will be a nice sweater for the holiday for somebody that's going to their ugly Christmas party. Yeah. All right, next up. All right. Oh, I think whoa. you'll like this. I will definitely like this. So this is a Naruto sweatshirt here. Um, it is actually... Naruto 
Naruto brand here and it is from 2000 and it's actually from it's from 2002 so vintage baby what size is that so it is a hoodie definitely not your size honey yeah if it was that would not be making it on the listings <laughs> it's a small so bummer yep so anyways it is cool colorway i thought unique with the brown it's got um, some spell out on the sleeves and it's also got a hood with uh the cool back with all the characters with all the characters on there and uh yeah so somebody Woo! that wears a size small it's all yours one of the best animes out there yeah next up i got a little plush grab bag here um and i only picked this up because i saw Tonight. five nights at freddy's here <laughs> um i'm not sure how much he's gonna be worth honestly it's from 2016 but some of these Five Nights at Freddy's can do really, really well. That movie is showing in our hometown theater. Right, and then we've got just a cheapy little toy here with somebody that put a 4th of July sticker on it. Very rare. Yeah. And then this is a Russ Plus, oh, Russ Berrien Company. Um, mm -hmm. Bear here, he's probably not worth anything, so he'll be re-donated there. <laughs> All right, next up we got Dino here. Um, Don't this show is... our grandson this. <laughs> yeah, he actually saw this, but I was able to sneak it away from him. <laughs> Good. It's a Jurassic Park. So I try to pick up um, Jurassic World, Ju Jurassic Park, um, Dinos, and then we'll end up eventually lotting them together. Um, we only paid a dollar on him, and I thought he was pretty cool because he, as he moves his legs, um, his tail kind of moves, kind of. Oh yeah, as he moves this leg here, his tail moves, if you can see that. So, pretty cute. The dancer. Oh yeah. All right, so my daughter found this. It is from Sadler. So if you guys don't know this brand, it's from Kurt Sadler. Um, and it's from Salem Christmas. Well, it's actually- From England. Huh? Yeah, it's actually from England here. And um, I don't, I don't know if Kurt, the Kurt Sadler stuff all has England on there, but I, I've actually picked <laughs> this up, one does. I've actually picked up several Kurt Sadler teapots in, um, years ago when I first started reselling from one lady, um, that I ended up picking, I think four or five different teapots and they were all like, one was like Alice in Wonderland theme. Mm. Um, one I think was a pirates one, super cool. And they took a little bit of time to sell, but I think I paid five dollars each for them, and I ended up flipping for them for at least forty dollars. So, awesome. yeah. So this one they do sell. Um, there's several listed, several sold, so that's a good sign. Um, but I would say probably around twenty-five on that. Got a clothing item here for you. Thick jacket. Yep. So our daughter also found this. It's called a Alpine Swiss. Um, yeah. and it is new with tags oh, nice. and that's the only reason honestly that we picked up this this isn't like a high-end valuable actually it is if it's like the msrp on it, it's actually 200 dollars. wow so there originally was 200 on that and that's the reason why i picked it up and i think even if we can get like 80 dollars for it yeah something really nice thick jacket i don't know if it's wool 30 percent wool Okay, so I guess with that in mind, this must be the wool, and yeah. the inside is the polyester. All right. Yeah. So it is a larger size. It is a two XL. So and it is a longer like men's pea coat. So this should do pretty good too. So I also found another new with tags item. This is actually a Hard, oh, Rock, Hard Rock Cafe, and it was originally forty four dollars. Cool. And I believe that we pay like three to five dollars on these. And what was cool and unique is it's got this zipper in the back, which I thought was quite interesting. Oh, what's up with that? Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah. We have oh, this, this is awesome. really cool Izod lacrosse sweater here. Cardigan. Dim yep, cardigan. Um, it's definitely vintage. Yeah. It's got the really cool gator, gator here. And um, it is a size medium, which, you know, probably take a little bit longer to sell. 
but just super cool. And our daughter actually found one um, recently. Hers was cream though, the same exact cardigan. Um, she uh, unfortunately had to put a lot of work into hers by cleaning it. And I think she said she washed it several times because oh. it was kind of yellow in areas. But yeah. this being blue, it's in really, really good shape. So yeah. we'll just have to photograph it, get it listed, and hopefully it sells quick. So oh, cool. So I picked up one of these. This is called Hemming Gray. I don't know. But when we first arrived here in Indiana, our daughter and son-in-law had a few of these in their yard. And I was like, what is that? She said, they're actually a um, electricity wire cover, some kind of electrical cover that they used to use back in the day. And then there was just a ton of them, I guess, buried in their backyard. So wow. that's how I kind of learned about these. So when I found one in the store, I knew what it was. Um, paid a dollar for this. Unfortunately, it has a little chip in it, I just noticed. Mm. But, um, you know, I usually, or what we'll do is we will lot these together. Yeah. Um, once we get several of them. And, you know, you could probably make 15 to 20 off each one. So but a bundle price for all of them would be probably better in this situation with these type yeah. of things. This thrift trip, I ended up picking two pairs of these. These are a boy's yeah. motorcycle or motocross. Motocross pants. Motocross pants. Um, so I probably wouldn't have picked these up originally because they don't go for a ton. But when I found the second pair being the same size, and this was a really cool print. That is cool. Um, it's like a punk rock one. Right. So I believe we pay $4 for each one of these, but they are Fox racing pants. So yeah, very popular motocross brand for all sure. Right. So we'll definitely be lotting these two together. And I would say we'll probably get around 30 or 40 on those. There you go. And then this was a vintage sweatshirt. It is just a plain sweatshirt. But it is made in the USA, and it's by a company called Panil that I've never heard of. Me neither. But That's when I actually me. looked this up, I couldn't believe that some of this stuff, these were going for around $40 that people were paying for these, just these plain sweatshirts. Now, ours has a little bit of like, kind of like a paint splatter. This one should do pretty good since it's got kind of like a unique speckle to it. Um, and for three bucks, we picked it up. There you go. So this is a vintage oh. uh, women's sweater here. Really pretty floral here. And this kind of style is, style is kind of in. It's in style right now. <laughs> Basically. Right. So I've never heard of this brand. It's actually hand loomed, which is probably handmade. And it's by Currents. So just by the tag alone, you can tell it is vintage, but I just thought it was really pretty. And uh, some of these sweaters can actually do really well. Next up, we got a new with tags Notre Dame tank top. So oh. normally would not pick up something like this, especially if it was used, but mm -hmm. since it was brand new with tags and we probably paid like two or $3 for this, I thought I would give it a whirl. Next up, I found this dish set. So when I first saw this, I didn't, I kind of looked over it because I was like, oh, okay, it's just like a lighthouse theme. But I was like, that looks like Corel. And then sure enough, I turned it over. It's definitely Corel. Um, I've actually never seen this print before. Yeah. Usually they do like a floral or just yeah. a stripe, something, something like nature, that. Yeah. Well, not nature, garden. Garden? No, just something simple. Yeah. Um, but this was quite unique being the lighthouse. And these actually do really well. Um, they did have a couple of the mugs, which I passed up, and I think they had some of the bowls, and I didn't end up getting yeah. those. I ended up just getting the plates because I think these were more sought after, and they had more of the print on them. So we got four of the dessert plates here and four of the dinner, dinner plate. plates, and I think I'll lot these together. I think we paid $1.99 each on the plates, so we're, and then $1.49 on these, so we're about, what? Two, four, six, eight, nine, Ooh, ten. We we're about eleven dollars into this, but I would say we'll probably at least get forty dollars on yeah. the, this this set alone. So yeah, that was a good find, babe. I would never thought that that was Corella. I know. Yeah. So we learn something new every day. Hopefully, you guys do as well with our videos. That is our plan. I think you'll love this. 
Do you remember back in the day, big dogs? Yes, I did. <laughs> there was a place down in San Diego called Seaport Village, and they had the big dog store down there. Right, yeah. So this is definitely an older brand. When I saw this, I just thought it was super cool. Yeah, it's cool. I thought this would actually be worth a lot more than it is. Um, this one's in really good condition. Steep. Yes, and it is actually a size large, and it's a golfing dog. Yeah, so, how about that one? Yeah. Bringing so, out the big dog. Right? So, I, like I said, I thought this would be worth more, but I think we could probably get around $30 on this. So not too bad. Wow. Another bread and butter item for yeah. us. We're getting down to the last two things. Hopefully you guys have stuck with Wake us up. this far. <laughs> right? Um, so this oh, that's sweater, ugly. they actually just started putting out all the Christmas sweaters, like the day after Halloween we went and my daughter's like, you better get over here. They've got all their vintage sweaters out. So they actually marked up quite a few of them, which Did I they? was kind of surprised oh. with this, uh, Goodwill cause they usually don't mark up stuff unless it's like boots that they know, like Justin yeah. boots or something like that. They'll sometimes mark those up, but I was really honestly disappointed that they marked up so many of these christmas sweaters this one was wasn't too bad i just thought it was too cool to pass up i've actually bought this a few times it's called heirloom collectibles christmas collection this is super cool with yeah, all cool. those details it's it, you got this present yeah zipper all the pull. presents are just popping out of this sweater. yeah so it's, it's really got good. sequins it's got beads um, really nice, nice condition. It is a petite XL, but we only paid four ninety nine for this. <laughs> I would say this is probably a thirty to forty dollar sweater right here. <laughs> so definitely getting into the holidays. We're definitely starting our Christmas collection. Yeah, we are. And so this will be the beginning of it. Well, we also had the Beer Miller Lite one, so we got a men and a women's. Yep. But anyways, um, yeah, just super, super cool. And it's actually really heavy, which is nice. Yeah. So, all right, guys, this is the last thing that we picked up. It is actually another Christmas item, but it's not clothing. What? It's actually, it's a really pretty blanket. Oh. So it's got this Christmas tree here. Um, it actually is from Cynthia Raleigh. If you guys don't know the brand, that can do really, really well. And this one's um, acrylic and wool. Um, mm. Just really, really pretty. It's got the cool little trim there. Like I said, with the Christmas tree here, unique. I just thought it was too cool to pass up. And we paid $5.99 wow. for that. So I'm not sure. I couldn't really honestly find an exact comp for this since it is becoming Christmas uh, fairly soon. Um, yeah. People are just starting to list a lot of their Christmas items, so I couldn't really find a comp on it. I would say $30 on this blanket. Yeah, that <laughs> really tricked me, actually. I thought it was a tree skirt at first. Yeah, actually, you know what? It does look like a tree skirt. Uh, yeah, so that is all we have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank, Thank you, you for your support. Kamsamida. And uh, until next time, until we thrift the heck out of the thrift store. See you on the flip, flip side. side. Oh. <laughs>